We were confident when we started with this that there would be a huge amount of attention on it because of how iconic a character Sherlock is, but we had no idea the scale of the reaction, which we were all bowled over by. We didn't think, oh, I hope it's a big hit. We just thought, we thought it was a good show. We thought we'd get good reviews and an award from a festival in Poland. And we would have been, let's be clear, rapturously happy with that. That would have been enough. The idea that it suddenly, uh, it suddenly became this rock star of a programme uh, still amazes me. I think the level of success has surprised all of us. I knew I liked it and I knew I believed in it. And I, I suppose I, I hoped it would be big in the UK, certainly. But I don't think any of us could have anticipated the level of, uh, well, mania around some of it. When you're in something that has such an enormous international following, it's something that you never dream of. Sometimes you read the script and you say, oh, that's a really good script. But you, you've no idea how it's going to be taken by the public. So this was a thrill. I think we did all think it was good. And I think if you make something with a passion, which they do, uh, you've got a head start on making something good. But to be as big as it is, and having just done a convention and stuff, I think it's extraordinary. I suppose it's just because I'm in some of it now. What? Oh, that's arrogant. Oh. It's not arrogant, it's truth. I'm in some of it, so they have naturally gravitated towards me. I have no idea why. I have no idea. You promised to keep him safe. You promised. Come, Watson, come. The game is afoot. Well, Holmes, surely you must have some theory. It's like an amalgamation of everything that's made it successful. The, the, the way Martin and Ben play these characters and the, the layers that they play, and Mark and Stephen's writing has always been exceptional. A good story will do well, I think. I think the enduring appeal of Sherlock Holmes has always been global. Actually, I don't think this is a phenomenon tied in with our success. I think it's to do with Conan Doyle's extraordinary invention, which has a universal appeal to all nationalities. This is a man who's an outsider, who's intelligent, who doesn't tolerate mediocrity, who is incredibly efficient, but also has his weaknesses and comeuppances. And I think the ability to turn the mundane and average and normal into a pop-up world of potential adventure, you know, you, you just, you never know where it's going to lead.